The DSGE model is, a, is simply a model that's dynamic. That's the D part. It takes into account time. Most economic phenomena involve time. If we think, for example, we talk about Greece and we talk about the possibility of Greece exiting the euro, it's a very time dependent analysis. In the short run, presumably that would be very painful. In the longer run, uh, there will be different things uh, happening. And the amount of time, how long is the short run, how long is the long run, is, is fundamental to that uh, uh, problem. And that's why we need dynamic models and stochastic because uh, there are unexpected things uh, that happen, just like in the case of the weather, we might get El Nino or maybe not. There, there are things that are hard to predict that happen, so we model those as stochastic things. And then finally, we have general equilibrium. That's the last part of what a DSGE model is. And general equilibrium means that we're taking into account the, the, the system as a whole. We don't model the individual parts by themselves, but we model the parts as part of an overall system, and that's essential to understanding how this thing uh, is going to evolve.